Dear Bethesda, Yes, I know that I wrote to you two weeks ago, and I don't care if this is coming on too strong, and I don't care if you answered my questions about poop in an Elder Scrolls Live livestream, and I don't care that there are buckets and bandit caves. I'm still really worried about the general health and well-being of everyone in Tamriel. They appear to be incredibly unprepared for any sort of modernization, let alone city life. Is, is that why huge cities are so sparsely populated? Everyone just keeps dying of disease? I just, I just, I, I, I don't want anyone to get cholera. Whatever. I'm over it. Okay, no, you know what? No, I'm not over it. I'm just saying that Periite and Namira would be completely destroyed if people just learned about washing their hands and not pooping in their water supply. Okay, now I'm over it. Which is good, because that's not actually why I'm writing you this time. Unfortunately, it's about something way more serious. Your laser weapons in Fallout 4 and why they make no fucking sense. Alright, let's just rehash the lore for energy weapons for a sec. Laser weapons, like the AER-9 laser rifle, have internal capacitors and wave particle diverters, blah 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 jargon, and are powered by something. In most cases, microfusion cells. They draw energy and use an array of polished focusing crystals to focus light into a single concentrated beam that's red for some reason. Whatever. And you know what? I'm gonna give you some props too, because the laser flying from the rifle does seem to travel through the air slightly faster than ballistic weapons, making contact with a distant target in three frames instead of the uh, four it takes for a 10 millimeter pistol to travel the same distance. It's not quite the speed of light, but yeah, it's close enough. Plasma weapons operate similarly, but instead of releasing concentrated beams of light, they fire super heated blasts of plasma. What's plasma? Well, plasma is one of the fundamental states of matter. But they didn't teach you that in elementary school? They just told you about solid liquids and gases? What a bunch of assholes. Thanks, Obama. Plasma is formed by heating a gas or subjecting it to an electromagnetic field. Under these conditions, it either gains or loses electrons, ionizing it, which is just a fancy way of saying that it gains a magnetic charge. You can actually see plasma sometimes during thunderstorms or in those weird glass globe things. Actually, plasma is the most abundant form of matter in the universe. Want proof? Just uh, look outside uh, during daytime. That's right, the sun is made of plasma. Anyway, back to plasma weapons. The plasma is launched from the weapon using electromagnets arranged in a series. Actually, it's pretty similar to the Gauss rifle in that way. Both plasma and laser weapons draw power, produce energy, and release it without moving parts. This is particularly important because it leads me to my biggest fucking sticking point in the god damn universe. Why do laser weapons have recoil? Okay, before I go any further, let's go over what weapon recoil actually is and why it even exists. In our current age, we use almost exclusively ballistic weapons to kill other people. The way they work is this. You have a bullet or shell in the barrel of the weapon. A bullet is made of a projectile in the front with a propellant of some kind behind it, usually gunpowder. Just think of it as murder fuel for the bullet, but it gets burned up real fast. Wrapped around the projectile and the murder fuel is a casing, and on the back end is primer, which is used to ignite the murder fuel when a hammer or something else strikes it. The murder fuel basically just explodes inside the barrel of the gun. Usually, explosions go in all directions, but guns are brilliant in that they constrain the force, forcing it to go in one direction. It pushes back on the gun and pushes the projectile forward. You know, Newton's Law bullshit. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So recoil is caused by murder fuel exploding inside the gun and sending death bullets into an unfortunate raider, forcibly digging out his or her childhood memories in an instant. Cool, huh? But why the fuck do laser weapons have recoil? It makes no goddamn sense. They have no moving parts. And, and don't you tell me to calm down that I'm nitpicking. Ain't no nits here. I know for a fact that you've thought about the nature of your energy weapons, Bethesda. You know how I know? Because when you shoot something, anything with them, they don't transfer any kinetic energy. Go ahead, go ahead, try it for yourself. You can go to a coffee cup, shoot it with a pistol or rifle or shotgun. It'll go blitzing off into the distance forever. Shoot it with a plasma weapon, same thing because plasma has mass after. All. Not a lot, but some. But with laser weapons, you can shoot at it all day long and it won't move an inch. Why? Because they don't confer any kinetic energy, because light doesn't have any mass. And if they don't have mass, make no physical impact, aren't projected by ballistic energy, and the weapons have no moving parts, then why the fuck do laser weapons have any recoil at all? It makes no goddamn sense! There's no rational explanation for how something that has no kinetic energy is magically shaking the gun around. What is it, because of game balance? Fuck you! <sighs> Thank you.
Okay, I... I went too far. I... I apologize. I'm just... I'm worked up because you, you clearly thought about this a, a little bit, at least enough to make it so that the laser beams don't interact with the environment other than scorching things, creating heat energy. So why did you leave this one hang up? Lasers in real life do, of course, have a Newton's laws -y equal and opposite effect thing. Uh, uh, it's, it's not kickback though. Real powerful lasers, the, the kinds that could possibly be used as weapons, produce one noticeable bad reaction. Heat. You know, they create heat wherever they land. It's their main use as a weapon, after all. It's just like how a ballistic weapon releases kinetic energy when it hits an enemy and also releases it into the weapon as it pushes away. So, too, does a laser weapon create heat at the source. The gun. Weapons like the ones we see in Fallout should be creating an inordinate amount of heat inside the weapon as a side effect. So if you're looking for game balance solutions, you could have gone with, I don't know, heat sinks, or rate of fire slowing because of heat buildup, or your weapon getting slightly less accurate because the focusing crystals are expanding and creating occlusions. Look, I'm just... I'm really tired now. All that... All that yelling, I... I feel bad about it. I just... It just... It just makes no goddamn sense. I love you. Sincerely, Austin. Thank you everyone for spying into my letter to Bethesda. It's actually a true fact that I write many letters like these to many developers and people throughout the ages and no one no one ever seems to write back for whatever reason. Uh, this series uh, that is heretofore unnamed, but you will recognize it by how it looks, will probably be turning into a weekly series very soon, so keep your eyes out. And if you haven't yet, watch my video on our current charity fundraiser, Project Purity. It's right over there and uh, yeah, watch some of our other videos if you're bored. You can watch my first one about poop if you want. You can also rewatch the storyteller, that's why you originally came here. Alright. Probably gonna be my last one about Bethesda for a while. That's okay though. <laughs>